Hello everyone. Uh, how y'all doing? Piss off. Okay. Goodbye. This was the stream. Bye bye. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's hey. not even a stream. It's not even a stream. Yeah. yeah. I'm a bit tired today. Right I barely slept. But anyway, <laughs> hi. Uh, we're gonna react. The next episode of Doctor Who today is fucking Village of the Angels. Is that what it's called? Village of Angels. Yeah, so Doctor Who's birthday we're doing it. Oh shit! Yeah, we're recording yeah. it on Doctor Who's birthday. Happy birthday! Yeah, happy birthday to this show that we all love. Well, we but love not right bits now. of it. Yeah, not right now. But um, speaking of things about regarding Doctor Who <laughs> yeah. that we do love, first before we get into the episode that I've heard is actually not a bad episode, actually. So I'm I'm, I'm excited. Um, we're gonna react to this Doctor Who poop. Um, that Jab wanted to sh react to it, and I have no idea what's gonna happen in it. So. You know, let's see. Uh, yeah. All right, everyone at zero. Oh, I yes. am at zero. Yep. All right, three, two, one, play. Don't turn your back. Don't look away, and don't blink. Good luck. What's the point of being alive? Don't blink. Don't blink. Don't blink. Don't blink. Don't blink. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. That was fucking amazing. It's just a visual of him smacking a weeping angel and like, how do you like that? I just, how did that say? Isn't the, what is the point of being alive that he just starts <laughs> frenetically blinking? It's fucking amazing, dude. Uh, he the angel and he's like, nearly scared me there. <laughs> Imagine not thinking the evil Dan meme is funny. What? Jay. Yeah, yeah, Jay. I was like, oh, you're sniping at someone, and you know, Jeb and Ted just had to reveal it, but alright, that's fine. If Jay comes after <laughs> us, it's your fault now, so. I'm oh, that's there. fine. Well, I, mean, I mean, it would be <laughs> if she'd answer my fucking DMs. Hey, Jay, answer Tin's DMs. Yeah, yeah for real. I, I, we know Last for certain that you're watching this right now, so come on. Yeah, yeah you, of course. We, she we, clearly we, watches I, every single one of these because, yeah. you know, these are just such interesting and thought-provoking reactions to the latest season of Doctor Who. Yeah, <laughs> but they literally Which are. I haven't even gotten the the episode three one out yet because I haven't had the time. But Brad is helping me edit it, so it should be out this week, hopefully. Um, uh, so God. that is also a thing I wanted to mention that uh, Brit is going to be helping me out with editing a few of the come extras, uh, uh, not only just the TV shows but the films we have recorded. So that should be interesting because Brit is a an interesting individual with this uh, humor, so uh, it should translate well to the edits. So yeah, you can expect some of that. But um, everyone ready if to you're... start the episode? If you yeah, if you're offended easily, uh, leave. I am. <laughs> oh okay, bye guys. I'm gonna see you see later. You um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> In the name of this age. You know, this is gonna be a unique recorder for me because I have no idea what to think on this episode. Didn't you like like it? I like well, I think he said it. that it's. I think he said that it's overall fine. He likes bits of it, but it has problems. Yeah. Have uh, people been been like saying this is like amazing on Twitter, like they did with War of the Centaurans? Yeah, they're wrong. It's not amazing. That doesn't surprise me. No. Yes. Remember that really shitty cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like the way this is shot. Yeah, this episode has some great shots. I've heard. Who's I it directed think it was, by? Um, I think it was on Mr. Tardis's Twitter that I saw him talking about like the one takes. Ah, oh, the best tour. Uh, yeah, but uh, the long takes in this episode, so I'm curious to pick up on that. Yeah, you know that actor. Yeah, he's pretty good at this. He's the highlight of this episode, I'd say. Church is such good visuals. Is evidenced by Midnight name, Mass. Please? Fuck you, Claire. <laughs> She's great, Jeff. She showed up in episode one. We learned she exists, and then now uh, here she and is. And that again. was good. Yeah. yeah. She exists. She's dumb when running away from Benny. angels, and that's all we know. Benny. Yeah. <laughs> and your date of birth. <laughs> you know the date of birth. Thirteenth of May, nineteen eighty-five. I said thirteenth of May, nineteen thirty-five. 
Never get old, not even slightly. Thank goodness for mechanical recordings. <laughs> and weirdly, the dialogues like improved in this episode compared to previous. It's not weirdly. This episode is written by Maxine Arterton as well as Chib, so for me, it sounds about right. Yeah, Twice probably. Like this is exposition right here, but it makes sense why he reacts like this. The machine would suggest you believe neither statement. Problematic when you need a control reference. Precisely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot to bury with it. Scene is interesting. Ooh, I like the effect on her pupils. Same here. This is the best cold open for the season. Which is not hard. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, it's like, all of them have been pretty bad. Well, the Centauran one wasn't bad, it was just, you know. Pretty much. Yeah, it was a pretty great scene. I don't have any complaints. Okay. I like that. That was alright. That was fine. That was fine. I know. It's like weird <laughs> yeah. to say, but complaints. It gives you intrigue and reason to keep watching. Flux is still a weird name for a serial, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Isn't it weird how hey, Jamie they, even after Timeless Children I st we still know nothing about the fucking division. We still have two episodes, don't worry. And three specials. We're gonna learn eventually. I expect next episode we do. I mean that's kinda useless considering the light keeps going on and off. I think it's just like to make it harder for them to get close to them. Sure, but like the light keeps going on and off, so it doesn't really matter if they blink or not in this situation. Well, I kind of put. I it does. I, it makes it harder for the angels to get closer, even if the lights are turning off. No, yeah, but it's constantly going out as if they're blinking. Like but the light. point is, if it if you blink when it come back on, you yeah, it's better to not over. blink. Yeah, it's better to not blink. My issue is that one of them could blink, then the other one blinks after. Mm. They take turns. Yeah, they can take turns, that's easy. I don't think... They just coordinate it. I mean, that could be the case, but I think it would be way hard to... to think about that in a situation like this. I think the angel's going slower stress. than it should. It seems like it. I guess there could be an explanation, but I doubt it. No, there isn't. Alright. Oh, well, that... Huh. That was an interesting that's editing it. choice. Okay, that was. Oh. Yeah, I didn't like that. Yeah. Didn't seem like there's an explanation why it went so slow, because angels are traditionally very fast. Yeah, I, was, I imagine like, oh, they're like tired, like out of energy or some shit. But, uh, what's the point of being alive? What is the point? Hello? <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> It's 1967, as you must well know. That back a while, then. Wait. What? Yeah, I didn't like that. Yeah. I found that inconsistent in how she fights out other years. Normally she just looks around, like yeah. she didn't yeah. survive for. It's like a poor logical leap to go by yeah. some other code. They, like, it's this weird thing with Jodie where she constantly knows where she is at all times, but in different ways, which is really weird. Well, it seems like she's trying to emulate the uh, Tenth Doctor, like, licking shit. And yeah. She's trying to figure out and stuff. And she doesn't... It doesn't... Not only does the writing not do it in a way that it's actually proper, it's also not delivered great. Yeah. yeah. Ten and Cabell is that goofiness with yeah. the seriousness of the character. Like, uh, I'd imagine he would say something like, given by the clothing, I'd say this is, uh, this certain time. And then you can have the jokes, like, of what they just did. Yeah. Oh, you've had the, co the that code a while, then. The Institute of Psychic Investigation. Looks like it. She should use that more. Yeah. Yes. Remember when Ten used that, like, all the time? Yeah, it's just super useful. It's really useful. But you can feel the dialogues much better than previous episodes. Oh, the dialogue yeah. is like... It's, it's by children's standards, it's over the moon better. I, I really like the, what she said when she looked at the, at the psychic paper. Yeah, she just doesn't... What I don't like about this Doctor is actually like... It's like too quippy, but like it doesn't feel natural at all. Mm. I like it when she takes her time like... You know, slow things down when she's talking to people. Yeah. Did Claire mention the angels in episode one? Or not? Yeah. No. I don't think she did. Not sure yeah, okay. Yeah. I wasn't quite... Yeah, I can't remember if she did or not. 
the data oh. trains because it's quick yes. thinking. Yes, yes. Yeah. it's quick thinking and it's consistent with the angel rules. Yeah. Any image angel of an angel, an angel can, can become itself an angel. become an angel. Yep. Yeah. I yes. like that. And she did the smart thing. Well done. Well done. See, is it so fucking hard to write the doctor like smartly? No, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say it's easy either, but yeah, I get your point. I mean, no scar situation is like that is the first thing you should do mm -hmm. when you see that. Yes. Yeah, like all of that made sense. It's like, well, from her yep. uh, memories, she could remember a fucking angel and then the drawing of the angel. Oh shit, that was a fantastic transition. Ooh, I agree. Ooh. Angels. Ooh, uh, are those real? I can't tell. They don't look real. They look like foam, honestly. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they like they, they look yeah. weirdly like. Fake, like in real yeah, life, yeah. but also it looked like those well, were, like, is, They didn't look wall. like stone as they should, so that was the issue. It looked they, like they someone had to edit. Yeah, they looked stay true. in place with a back. Yeah, it looked true, um, light. See, that looks great. That does look great. That's bad. See, and here it makes sense for it to cover its eyes. Yep, see how fast they are? Easy. Yeah. That's how they should be. Have you assigned specific areas to specific groups? Have you got an agreed time to report back? This is see, to see, this is the nice yeah, thing. Yaz is actually using her police skills here. Yes, as she should. For the first time ever. <laughs> Only took us two and a half seasons. We did it. Whoa. She used it like a very small amount in like Fugitive, but it meant fuck all. So you're telling me she used her police skills when she isn't a policeman anymore? <laughs> yes. That seems about right. That's the best place to use them. She's a ten-year-old girl. How much is there to know? By the way, you can tell this guy's a bit of a dick. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Keep that, keep that in mind for yeah. when I tell you something that has said. All right. oh, no. I mean, I already know he has a problem with because he's an old white man <laughs> having an issue with a woman in uh, a modern piece uh, of media. No, not that. Oh. See how fast that is. <laughs> Yeah, the angel. It was literally on the other side, like way back, and now it's yeah. there in a second. Yeah, the angel speed's quite inconsistent yeah. this episode. Easy. Like with well, other this, episodes. This season. See, here this they should take turns. So but uh, in the TARDIS, I think on the heat of the moment, it, was, it would be harder. Keep your distance from each other as well, so you don't trip each other up. I get that, but I, I think they are way too scared to think about that. Ah, uh, yeah, it can affect the lights. <laughs> No, don't look at it, no. Why would you look at it? <laughs> oh. I see, yeah. I mean, that scene actually... wasn't terrible. Yeah. I quite liked it. It wasn't terrible. Yeah. Oh, Belle, fuck you. I don't like Belle. Fuck off. Yeah, oh, me too. Oh. 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 I was actually, in, I was actually, like, I was actually... <laughs> relatively fine <laughs> with the episode so far. Yeah, I was interested in the episode. Now, yes. fucking Belle, fuck off. Everything else? This is the problem with this fucking Can season. When things like, well, I wouldn't say it hasn't often gotten interesting, but when like we get something, we're cutting to shit like this that I don't give a fuck about. And it doesn't like, especially in this episode where you got dark uh, cinematography, light in and everything, and a horror tone. This really clashes. Yeah, tonally, this does not fit. And it just killed all pacing you just had. Yep. Yeah, like Dan and Yaz have just been yeah, like naturally. What you do is cut back to the doctor with Claire. Uh, yes. If, yeah. If I were the one making the episode, because like, this feels way more like Star Wars than Doctor. This feels like something. This feels completely con disconnected from the actual show. Yeah, and then we get back. It's like oh, it's horror. It's the angels. And it's, yeah. The, this is like pure sci-fi. Yeah, it's like in series three during Blink, if they just fucking randomly cut you Utopia, um, <laughs> with the what's this the old master. It's like you shouldn't do that. It feels very out of place. And I, by the end of this episode, I still don't give a shit about Belle. There's nothing really to I it. mean, so far, I, she's yeah. like... The only reason I is she, don't... Are they recurring characters? Is she the worst, or is it old man person who keeps popping up who did the tunnel shit? Oh, I like the old man more. Old man he's has better a... scenes. He's, he's a better he's... actor, though. So. Yeah, that was going to say, he's a better actor. Um, But yeah, I think that... Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Fuck you, Colin. You interrupted me and I forgot. Um, yeah, as I said, he does, sorry, in his small scenes he has. 
Oh, is this the person people want about? Yeah, he's in in between us. Oh, yeah. oh, is he one oh, of the yeah. main characters? This scene. Yeah. Oh, I recognize him now, actually, yeah. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Um, The only reason why I don't think Belle is 100% worthless is because I like Vinder and she has something to do with Vinder. Um, you know, she's looking for him. Well, the other way I can twist that is that it's going to drag the Vinder stuff down. I agree, well, but yeah, that's, uh, why uh, I that's <laughs> like, yeah, I think we see it from both, like, opposite angles, I guess. Yeah, because I actually like Vinder, and I think as a character, he has a lot going for himself. Bro, I really like the cinematography in this episode. Yeah, it's pretty good. Holy. See, now that makes sense why they're covering their eyes with so many angels here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Also, um, it gives you a lot of villa vibes with them being trapped in a building. Mm. Maxine Redderton could work well with Mike Flanagan to make a show. Imagine Wait, Mike Flanagan inviting a Weeping Angel episode. Ooh, that would be fantastic. I guess that one moved because, like, the guy was right in front of the doctors. Yes. Yeah, uh, blocked guy her view, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. fine with that. Yeah. Ooh, my God. They, so, a person said, why were they locking all the doors? Because the doctor knows how strong they are. Like, door is better than no door. Yeah. <laughs> he might as well lock it. You, like, give him, like, a second, like... Anything will be yeah. useful. As good old Aaron from Midnight Mass would say, it might come down to minutes, seconds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, they could, like, well, they are strong, they could, like, bash down the doors. Which I think they're trying, maybe. Uh, you kind to get a justification for what they're actually doing. Right. No. Yeah, because it seems like they want them to be trapped inside rather than just. Oh, that's a nice shot. The best. Yeah. Yeah, I really like this so far. This it's show. very well, very well directed. Yeah. And the cinematography is very good. And it's doing the angels quite well. Yeah, I would like to know that. It's an interesting question, though, because because usually angels just they feed on the energy by sending. Yeah, exactly. Them back, any, so, yeah, that also so true. So it could be just any person, but I mean, it was she, targeting her specifically. She which did is say like a random street, but not in like a like a graveyard or anything where angels normally would be. Yeah, that's the she, thing. I'm like, they seem to be pers personally targeting her. Yeah, was, that was fantastic shot. Right I was gonna say, to be fair, if you think of Blink, the victims um, were seen in the way of stopping. They've getting the TARDIS. That is true. Yeah, that's also true for Blink. The only time it was random was in Angels Take Man, but Manhattan. But then they were having a battery farm, basically. Everyone in the village disappears on the 21st of November, 1967. Tonight. Oh, see, now I'm yeah. super intrigued. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. what it's doing is saying up a lot of stuff, and it's doing it in a very natural way. I, I'm really enjoying this. And obviously they're using a doorbell and that to scare them more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's oh, basically no. taunting them. She looked in the eyes of an angel. That doesn't look great. Yeah, the CGI didn't look great, but uh, it looks like sand. It looks more like salt like, The way they did it in series five was it's so very good. much better. Yeah. Yeah, because it's actually you know dust. See, here, like they cut to them in where they are. Imagine if they just cut to another bell scene. Like this actually works, not the bell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd rather just spend time here because this plot is really interesting. They could do the. I try to remember what show does that. We we'll basically have kind of like a faux post credit scene with Bell, and it's just setting up her mystery, like in the end of each episode, just building it more and more, as opposed to just having yeah. a random scene uh, during the episode. Just like cut into the actual plot of the episode itself yeah because then that helps the pacing so much yeah i guess agents of shield kind of does that when they show yes. the agent the, well, the i haven't will... seen it oh you're cringe i know yeah. <laughs> but what i don't don't like i care about episode. plot armor that is the ultra oh, cringe the what i don't like in this episode oh, is dan's it. very calm right now given what's just happened to him uh, he's always calm. Well, they're both kind of calm, but I guess Yaz well, would Yaz would be way more yeah. calm. Yeah. yeah, Yaz would, I expect it. Like, Dan, Dan for yeah. this whole fucking season, is so Dan. calm. He's each bit displaced in time. And it's to his been a day. Well, isn't back. that part of the this mystery that people are saying? Like, he's weirdly calm about everything, and that's part of... But I don't think it's like... They haven't made any attention to it once. Right. I think yeah, it's just has, bad right be like, I mean, it could be. You know, I mean, no, yeah, I think it is. Like, if it, I would like in this situation, I have Yaz, like, if it is going to be like purposely him being calm, you have Yaz question it, 
or like point it out at the very least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. Um, what Jay by using her video, the clip from a I think a big Finnish book, uh, where a companion is like super calm by going in the TARDIS, and that's pointed out, and it's like part of her character. What happened to all the people? Is John Bishop acting better this episode, or is it just me? I think they're just not making him say really yeah, dumb like stuff <laughs> all the time. And this scene. I, I think he is acting better. I think he's actually yeah, acting he now as a push, just saying shit with that goofy ass way of him. Saying like, shit. I think it helps that he's like being a lot more like even in tone, just like yeah, quieter. Yeah, more, more restrained. Yeah. Because yeah. he's of, like, remember in episode one with the kids, like. Oh man, you could have done so much good shit with that. And then this scene is being connected in a way with Dan's character. Mm. Now I'm just sad because this could have been so much better. Yeah. Although I really like that shot with the lighting behind uh, her mm. coming out of the window. Really the direction cool. in this episode is very solid. Oh. Oh. That green oh, okay. screen. That's what I shared it's earlier. Bad. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. That does not look great. <laughs> that though. green screen is terrible. <laughs> Quantum extraction. All right. Yeah, that green screen did not look great. Um, no, it didn't look an actual owl. I do like this visual though, as like a concept. I think is really interesting. That's a concept. Yeah, I think it's Ooh, cool. That transition. That was great. Pretty neat. Oh, that's why she's like, you mustn't go past the sign. You just saw the sign fucking falling down. Uh, that was interesting. That was really good visual storytelling. I really like stuff. <laughs> Again, it's not great, but I really like it. I mean, again, this guy. I think it's guy, uh, solid stuff so far. Yeah. Again, this guy's been set up as a dick, and again, it will come important later when I bring up what Az says. <laughs> I'm excited, Jeff. You're building, Back up. The, building Back up this up mystery more than Chibs is building the mystery this season. Literally, she says he hasn't said one nice thing about the missing girl. Hmm. Was she looking at it? I can assume she wasn't able to because he was blocking the view. Yeah. Well, if if well, I assume well, he like he the whole she, angel though. I think the thing idea she is that be... she kind of blinked as she was kneeling down to grab the. Angel. We would have to. We, you could see. We would have to get a closer look to see if she actually did. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to tell. So I'm just going like best faith interpretation. That's a really good shot. I've been saying this the entire episode. I just really like the cinematography. This episode. Well, yeah, direction is good. I also like the um, shrill that comes with the angels. This, this is retarded to do. It is. Why are you fucking? Oh and yeah. And the image of an angel also, can become oh, an angel, you moron. Huh. What? Wait, what? Oh. And then, and then oh, this is retarded. Oh, yeah. It's reforming the the. the, the... No. But the, that's, no. But it's been yes. ripped up though. It's not complete. It's not. It's not an angel anymore, is it? Yeah, so why are you creating more images of an angel? Why are you doing this then? Then why are you creating the... Why would you... Why would you then... Oh, so that's... Oh, so it does explain it, okay. Which actually worked for Amy, because it took till Amy looked away, or looked into their yeah. eyes. Okay, so yeah, never mind. They actually do explain that. I'll let Josh know that. Ooh, that is a cool visual. Ooh. Why would they want you, Claire? Because I'm one of them. <laughs> All right. That doesn't look fantastic. Yeah. This is impossible. The shot looked really odd, like, like a bit blurry. Physically, there was dust coming out of my eye. Is that from Jody? I liked it. I yeah, because she's she knows exactly what it is. Yeah. Of an angel in your mind, and now it's living there. And she's more restrained, oh. which is nice. Which contains the image of an angel. Shit! It's G that's yeah. Holy Good shit! Ideas. That's such an that's an awesome Which idea. I know. Holy fuck! I really like that. And there's gonna be another neat idea a bit later. No, I just the question I have though is like, would the memory uh, function as a vision of an angel, like an image of an angel, or is it just premonitions? Because in theory, um, those two would be the same principle, wouldn't they? They are. They are the same principle. But this is really neat. He compares... He says he how he's been through the Holocaust. And how this won't phase him at all. He's seen better, uh, bigger horrors. That so that's why he's able to look at things for so long. 
Because he has seen worse and he's had to start up. Okay, so why did the doctor put the TV on there? And create new angels through the image of an angel? Uh, so she's put it there so they could keep an eye on them and see when they're coming in. As long as Jericho that keeps his... Then 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 there's no, a risk to create more angels. Yeah. Yet, which he just said, but if you keep staring at them, they won't be created. Right. Which so is it's true in... Sure, well, that's time. incredibly difficult with just one person. Which we're going to see in the episode. I need your help, yeah, but, I don't know, that sounds about right. And she does acknowledge this is a risk, but we need it to keep an eye on her. Mm. I do not like the colour grading of this. Yeah, I was going to say, it's clearly, like, ugh, making everything blue like this. I, I get the idea with it, but I don't think it's... Yeah, I think they went too I mean, far. I think it's... I get what they're going for. Yeah. Also, also, I like how 13th's more receptive to the angels than 11th was after Amy. Like, 13th actually acts more you expect to the angels than 11th did. Mm. This here I found a really neat idea. That is so interesting. As an idea, I find it interesting. I didn't like Jody's exposition there, but whatever. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the dialogue there because it was like. Yeah, Jody's exposition. It's the, was, it's the was, standard thing of what Jody always does with the, with the. Yeah, she exposits way too much, but I like the idea of a rogue yeah. angel that is being yeah. hunted by other. I mean, angels. it's episode what we can give it. it all, most of its concepts are really interesting. Yeah, and, then and I just wish it wasn't just in just the Chibnall era. Yeah, so. Oh great, now this, we're here again. This person tried saying they wouldn't be sure of a very well-off scientist. Oh, would have a TV screen. at the time, Gosh, and no. I'm like, it's 1965. They oh, would that's have the TV. worst kind of green screen. Just, just yeah, 1965 TV, mm. obviously. Wasn't 1960s and 70s like height of people starting to buy TVs and every household owning a TV? Um, Idiot's Lantern showed the height, which was the 50s. Yeah, yeah so that's it. <laughs> This is a boom. That already shows it. Imagine citing an idiot lantern to the fence. Why are we something. here? Why are you watching this scene? So to, to be fair, I understand why it's there. Uh, Me too, I just don't like it because she's... I hate her. Um, what's her face? Azure or whatever? I, I literally don't remember. She's not Swarm. Um, and I don't Azure. like that I have a Swarm, but not named oh Swarm. Azure. Her name's Azure. Azure, okay. But yeah, I hate the screen screen as well. Yeah, but at least we have Storm. I like, I like Storm. He is a good actor. That isn't Storm, I think. Oh, it is. Ah, uh, it's but this the is, dude. I like... It's Mr. X. <laughs> it's Passenger. But I like um, them tricking people into thinking they could be saved. This seat's terrible, I'm not gonna lie to you. What happens? Then don't. Yeah, then just stop. She's not stronger than you, I'm sorry. But... Okay. Yeah, I don't buy it would do that. What? Me neither. Oh, okay, you can just go under it. Wow. Why isn't it just like a like a bubble aura thing? Why isn't it like vertical and it moves horizontally? Yeah. You can come next time. What? I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> You're whispering. <laughs> that scene shows them. Uh. She literally doesn't know what. Look how far they are. <laughs> I'm gonna assume she had like some sort of psychic way of talking to her or something like that. I don't believe you. I like the music here. I don't believe you. Yeah, so. pretty... The music this season has been pretty solid. Be way better than uh, Series 11 and 12. Mm. I like this reaction as well, like trying to mm. find a hope in nothing. Yeah, he's, he's a good actor for what little he was in the episode. He has a bit more. He has like one more scene. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Now we're back there, to yeah. regular Dan. Yeah. I like to think that's all to basically go chip not enough questions. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Any <laughs> any point there's like bad exposition, it's just chip not. It's not even yeah, being Dan bad just... faith because this entire season is written it's by Chip. It's the same this, uh... place they filmed Amy's Choice. It looks like it, but I don't know if it is or not. It, it looks very similar. It does a bit, yeah. Oh, what a based episode that is. It is fucking amazing. We're about to see another yeah. interesting idea. Ooh, Yaz. Yaz is actually the best actor in this scene. What the fuck? Yeah, and I was going to say, I actually liked her reaction, <laughs> especially Dan's, because Dan's the... Acting is... oh. oh, shit. But I liked uh, Yaz's reaction there, especially you could tell there was a tear coming down her eye. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. 
So if you oh, get that. touched, oh, if you get sent yes, back in time right. twice, you basically die. So sorry, okay. It, and Mr. Tardis tried saying that's plot armor for Rory when Rory never got sent back in time twice. What about what about the touched, woman? So. But that wouldn't be plot armor. That would be this episode retroactively creating yes. a plot hole. But even then, oh, did, did you guys notice that? Did he get sent did back like twice? No. It, so what did you guys notice how sent? Yaz was crying there? Yeah, I, I, I talked about that. She was uh, crying. That's I pointed it out. Yeah. Anyway, he got sent back once, but then the paradox happened, so that never counted, and then he got sent back again. So only ever once, because the paradox erased defense. Yeah. Yeah, that's how they won in that episode, right? They're creating the paradox. So. Yes. Like it's it's your energy being depleted in a way, I guess. Oh fuck! There's only one there now, right? Yeah. Yep. It's gonna stay there. Do you really think you can protect them? Um, is the angel talking? You yeah. Yes. Not sure if I like that. Well, normally it, it, they use um, like use like they use things to help them talk. Oh yeah, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they use the voices from, like people. Uh, yeah, from uh, that episode series five. But yeah, also the plan is to surround them, and then have this one cut through. Mm -hmm. Ah, so he's using his voice. Okay, I like that. That's fine. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Here's the thing, like, I would rather, like, we need to cut out those two other scenes and have those scenes be related to this guy. Mm. It would be interesting if we knew a little bit more about Yeah, because there's, there's not, yeah, there's, I don't really know much about this guy and this scene feels like, like, the scene we should have after, like, two scenes of him, like, going through his backstory just a bit, so this mm -hmm. feels a bit more natural no intention of starting now Jericho's a chip. yeah Jericho's cool yeah oh that was interesting all right I kind of like that scene but I agree with what Callum said about uh if he had more time to be also I be don't know like if we're going by the logic of like angels normally things are like strengthened like even remember with Amy trying to pull the plug in series five normally things are like hard to break so I don't know if he should be able to have broken the TV. I'm well, not it's well, harder, but I don't think it would be impossible, right? Sure. Yeah. And still, it seems to be fucking around with the TV, so on. And Amy had Amy's like TV thing had alien technology. This is our place. It's an interesting Ooh. idea. That is also really interesting. Well, that... Really, that was actually really cool. And that also will become an angel. As you were. This angel was part of the division. No, nah, the color grading wasn't shit. I really like that shot. So you're telling me the division used weeping angels as operatives to do its work? Oh, <laughs> yes, that is indeed what I am saying. Exposition, yeah. dialogue, well, man. But that's something new. Like they use everything. Yeah, which is quite interesting. Yeah, well, I'm pretty good at stopping the unstoppable. That is a very doctor line, to be fair. Yeah. I could see Ten and saying that, obviously with a much better delivery, but you know. That must be so annoying how she, her hair just in her face like that. Yep. I think I pointed that out in episode um, two, the part of the where she had like half of her hair covering her eye through the entire episode. But yeah, my concern is can they really make Division this much of a threat that they can hire weeping angels? Yeah. Including you. It's just, again, we, all, we don't know, we know fuck all about the Division. Mm. Which I mean, is why I'm thinking next two episodes. Oh. But now this makes sense for why the Doctor wants to help. You protect me. Because this angel has memories of her life as part of the Division. And now you know why the angel in the street was haunting her. Just get your hair out of your fucking face! You're it's literally especially, looking at angels, you need both eyes open, yeah. Jesus. Don't look away. Instantly looks away. Yeah, I was gonna mention that, that was funny. <laughs> I feel like I would like the Doctor to try a bit, a bit more, like, trying to keep things calm, because in that kind of situation, she's, like, being very bubbly. Yeah, she's being way too... When the whole point of, like, the end was just to make sure you are concentrated on looking at them. Yeah. And again, I think this was smart from the Doctor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So good school also really works for this episode. Yeah. 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 yeah no, like, see, like stuff like that is what I want more of during this episode. Mm -hmm. Oh no. I really don't like Jody as the Doctor. Yeah, it's just like if this was another Doctor, any other Doctor, the, like I'd love this way more. Yeah, imagine Capaldi there. 
as they start yeah, opening exactly. the door. I thought it would be perfect for this episode. This is a really cool shot. Keep your eyes open, Sprout. I guess they're very much not blinking. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. As I forgot to say, as it salted the little girl for not caring about the pensioner dying, despite their assumption the pensioner's a piece of shit. Yeah. I, I was more annoyed that, like, she didn't care about the woman or didn't comment on her. No, I, she for me, it was more like she kind of knows that, like, these people are going to die anyway. She doesn't care anymore. She's just trying to get Dan and Yaz to fix it. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, because he just says Chibnall's trying to take a shot at Petronas, and I'm like, he wasn't. It's that woman who keeps popping up. I remember this. Oh, it's the and same. That's what... She's Becky. Yeah. Yes. Woman. She's about to be killed? Because Peggy's been already uh, walked back once? No. You don't okay. Yeah, just wait 66 years. Easy. Six Finally, Dan reacted. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, I like that eerie noise. Ooh. I love the design of the ship. Yeah. They like to leave a few rare witnesses to tell the story. And I like that as well, that the angels are still sick. Well, yeah, angels are known to, like, be very mocking. Like, remember, like, with Amy, they could have killed her away, but they did it to, like, well, The first scare thing they do in Blink is throw a stuff. brick through a window, which <laughs> was scary. Yeah, exactly. Um, what's her face? They're very well established to be people, like, a, a race that often makes fun slash mocks its yeah. victims. Yeah, and, like, and, like Oh, they're doing what you asked, Jeff. I know, right? Miss Brown, if you would care to go first. Jericho's a Chad. Yeah, I like Jericho. Yeah, I really like Jericho. He's a white he's male like, and he's a Chad. It's, as one they're making a white male look his, good. Oh my god. First time ever, yeah. Yes, talk through the situation and then that makes have sense. a perfectly calculated plan. Oh. Oh, I went into his eye. Oh, that was an interesting That's transition. That's pretty good. Alright. I really don't like Jody. Yeah. Imagine this was like Capaldi or Tenen or even Smith. Like, oh. No, okay, so I want you to note something. Okay, Notice yeah, that I'm listening. I heard blinking by accident. But they didn't move. Notice that. What, during that scene? Yeah. And as you can oh, tell, it wasn't notice. a mistake. When I'm she sure blinked, it, was. it wasn't like a mistake at all. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. Observing you. Yeah, we know you don't. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad. You could have just cut those two lines. They literally don't need to exist. Oh. Okay. Oh my God, there's so many. There are quite a few, yeah. <laughs> just, just a few, yeah. Go to your friends. A capital A for Angel. They're enjoying watching you work it out. We're stuck in 1901. What? Maybe we should have brought that to you a little bit more gently. We can't survive. that that I in the trailer I was worried how that was going to be delivered, but then it was fine. What does quantum extraction mean? It's taking the village out of time to extract the target. What target? That is pretty smart, actually. All right. Just them having the ability to do that is kind of interesting, though. I don't know if kind of works with power level. I think the plus side is that this is a specialist team. Mm -hmm. So it's not like a general Help angel. It says it's made a better trade. Now they've ag agreed not to take it. They're gonna take the doctor instead. Yes. I'll take you instead. Yep. Ah, uh, I knew this was gonna be other uh, way. That is interesting, though. This was his plan all along. He hid in you. Uh, Jody, your acting is not good. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can see what she's going for, but she's just not good. Even in this bloody dramatic scene, she still does that bloody scrunch thing. Well, the, the scrunch, yeah. I, it's like, um, you can no, see the way her, she like, you like, you can see her, her, both her facial reactions. One of being, like, hurt and uh, hopeless, and the other of being angry. But it's like, she... Her, I love this uh, music. I don't like it. It's hard to explain why, but yeah, I don't like Jody. And yeah, the music here is great. Hey. Basically, she's doing what feels like a forced reaction, but at the same time, natural. Yeah, like what the character is doing makes sense, but uh, what the actor is doing is uh, way too forced. This does not look great. 
But no. no, it doesn't look great. <laughs> it doesn't, no. I think that's been a running theme with this episode especially. Yeah, the practicals look great. The, um... See, that looks... That looks pretty alright. Yeah. The CGI looks pretty I'm bad. I'm assuming though. this is the cliffhanger? Yes. Yep. That is and actually a good important. cliffhanger. And then there's a Port and Next Sign trailer. Yeah. So we got to Ooh, watch that. Ooh, this? No. Okay. But, uh... I really like that episode. <laughs> oh, I, I really like this music. Oh, and a mid credit scene. Oh, alright. Oh, what? Oh, oh, that, fuck it's like you suggested, oh, Marcus. It, oh, yeah, it's literally what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Yo. Vinder. Hey, Vinder. My man, hey. my guy. I love Vinder. Ah. Yeah, Jacob Addison is like the best actor so far in the show for this season. No, I. Re oh. I also like how. It explains why it runs out so like it's like oh you only get one chance so it's like oh that that's why like the way she was talking wasn't the most optimal because she didn't have time to plan um to like record multiple times so it's fine and then obviously now we've got the next time trailer but yeah this episode's back on second watch for me hmm. which is something yeah. survivors of the flux all right you oh there. Ooh. Oh, they look good. Mm. Uh, that exposition already didn't Oh, great. no, 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 it's not. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Good, yes. So, I'm interested to see yeah. the Ud, and I'm excited to see Kate because I like Kate. Um, and that's and my feelings uh, on the next you, episode. Unit has been good fan to be back for a primary image. Nice. I mean, I'm, I, that was, I think that would be pretty obvious from that. Um, and, you know, the I met, I wonder if they're gonna retcon or if they're gonna uh, the the thing in them. What was it? Re re resolution, right? Is they gonna retcon that or if they're gonna like try to explain it? I don't know. And the Grand Serpent seems to be confronting the Doctor because the TARDIS was there, mm. or he might be a division member. I don't know. Right. Mm. Um. But yeah, this episode was definitely better on rewatch for me because one of my big issues wasn't an issue. <laughs> you, uh, your issue was the TV shit, right? That you didn't have. Yeah. Uh, well, I had the paper coming back together thing because that was insane. Yeah, no, I I don't buy that at all. No. And my big issues with that, the energy field not taken, Bell and Thingy. Mm-hmm. Uh, what agree, else was there? That is plot armor, but speed. as we all know, no no stories will last more than five minutes without plot armor, so. <laughs> oh. oh, an inconsistent angel speeds. Mm -hmm. But I think that's... And the opening was a bit iffy, but... Yeah, I yeah, mean, I, think... I, I... Yeah. It doesn't seem like this episode was, like, huge issues, like, world-building-wise. It seems to not harm anything, um, other than, like, angels having consistent speeds. Why could... Concern is, is now they've kind of added OP elements to the angels. Yeah, they just seem like they've added a lot of power to the angels, which I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, we're going to have to see how those are implemented in future stories, and I do think it'll be way harder to do stories with them. But considering Chibs is leaving soon, it's going to be RTD. I imagine RTD either will write the angels competently or he just won't include the angels because he seems to like a lot, aren't you? Um, create new monsters for his series rather than just yeah. recycling which you know is something that Chimno is doing a lot this series so I don't know I'm uh I don't know I, I really really enjoyed that episode like I, I was not expecting to like that episode that much I d I'm confident saying this is the best of series this is the best ch episode Chibno oh this is the best episode of the season yeah easily um yeah, yeah. I don't know how it compares to Villa of Diodati uh, I'd have to rewatch it yeah, and see same. how it compares. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's better just from memory, but yeah, I need to rewatch it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'd say this episode's like six or seven out of ten. I, uh, I have it as a, probably a six. Right. I have it as a six. Yeah. Because the, di the dialogue is still a bit clunky in some areas. I would and yeah. I would say that the dialogue in Villa de Dati is better than the dialogue in this. And I think it's probably because Chibnall had to Chibnall kind of chip in. this one, yeah. Yeah, the biggest issue of this episode, I'd say, in terms of dialogue and shit like that, is just including Bell stuff that kind of... Well, I remember we talked about Dan, and it's like he was actually being relatively, like, 
normal as a person. And yeah, then was the being restrained next scene we see him, quiet. he's like, what's this? What's that? What's going on? Yeah, he got back just, yeah, I did not like yeah. And the issue with Dan, still he has no real character or anything outside of the plot. Mm. Yeah, the most he, character he, he got had... was like that first scene in episode one. It was like five to ten minutes where he got character and that's pretty much it. Yeah, he hasn't actually interacted with Yaz or the Doctor outside of plot-related reasons. Yeah, it's the same way or like fucking companions that have been the entire season where they're just like, oh, what's that? Oh, you know, just being exposition delivery um, devices as opposed to just actually being characters. Which, yeah, it sucks. And you, you, you could have him be way more, his relationship with Yaz being way more developed if you cut out the bell scenes from this episode. No, I, no, I just realized it's kind of funny now because in series ten, Missy like had like had like one of the companions as as, as exposition, and Chimbo's only gone and done that like a few series later. <laughs> yeah, it's honest. It's I'm weird. just glad we're set to get division answers finally. Yeah, I'm, I'm just worried they're gonna. How that goes. Yeah, I'm just worried yeah. they're not gonna be great answers, but who knows. Because um, it's, con- it's connected to the timeless child, so yeah, there is a I chance that it, it won't be terrible. And this season has actually been better than I expected, honestly. Like episodes one yeah, and three same. were garbage, but episode two actually had surprisingly good stuff, despite not being a great episode. And this episode, I I quite like. So yeah, uh, I'd say I ex- probably expected it to be worse, but I don't. I still haven't. I don't really consider this season to be anywhere as good as it probably could be. Oh no! Yeah, um, just from the ideas alone, this season could have been amazing if it was like RTD writing, but um, you know, it's not. So <laughs> comparing my, fear... my my expectations, is better. But yeah, my fear for next episode is we'll get the Doctor dealing with the Division, Grand Sub, and then trying to save Earth. With Lepari, Lepari teaming with Unit and the Doctor, Dan and Yaz go through tunnels, meeting up with the Victorian guy, Finder uh, getting involved because of the Grand Serpent and Bell in some form. I feel like it's all gonna all culminate in a messy pot. <laughs> yeah, I'm certain the Grand Serpent's like a figurehead at the Division. Now dead certain of that, right? I mean, um, I yeah. wish we got like I in this. I feel like there was going to be something towards like, and maybe there might be next episode, maybe. But the Peggy and like couple stuff was a. It felt kind of rushed, put in, and it doesn't really feel like it amounted to anything of like substantialness. Yeah, it it was just kind a, of felt like it was a twist, a but way it didn't to get feel us, well, too well built. Because the Peggy stuff was the initial like interest, or like the other half, mm-hmm. as opposed to like the, all the Claire stuff, and then the res- the revolution of it was just kind of like, yeah, it seemed kind of rushed. That yeah. it f- the lack like, development you get it doesn't actually mean anything point. compared to like the end with the Doctor. I mean, it kind of doesn't mean anything because they're just dead now. Yeah. And, Peggy just didn't well, care. Like you said, I think they're going to continue that with the next episode because in the next time uh, trailer, there was Dan being like, oh, we've been stuck in the past for three years. So I imagine there's going to be more about that, which would be interesting to explore, I guess. I mean, it's going to be a 100% they don't, they, episode, it, look, so. it looks like the Peggy isn't with them. So, But we can assume that's likely to maybe be a scene that fleshes out there for years. Yeah. So maybe Peggy stayed yeah. with Jericho. Yeah, it, they could definitely uh, flesh that out in the next episode. That's what I think they're going to do. And if they don't, I'd say that's more in the fall than the next episode than this one. Uh, yes. So, yeah. It does feel like, at least in this episode, uh, the whole Peggy stuff was just there to get Dan and Yaz in the past somehow. Mm-hmm. It does seem like that. Yeah. What would have been, to be honest, you could have had the whole village missing thing, but not have the twist. And instead have um, Dan and Yaz disappear through the fault of the Doctor being a bit careless around the angels by accident. Mm-hmm. Which would have been nice. Like, it would have really hit the low point for the Doctor. 
It's weird how much it's not just been through yet, but it's still stable compared <laughs> to 10th and yeah. even 11th. <laughs> and again, 12th. Yeah, like we kept saying it throughout the episode, but if you imagine this in like it's the 10th Doctor era, 12th Doctor, this like it feels like it, the Doctor as a main character would significantly improve. Yeah. If yeah, like, right. I think like that, that moment, especially when they're like running through the tunnels, if it was Capaldi, uh, his reactions to the door be, uh, being open and an angel showing up, uh, it would be so much better. Um, because I think Jodie, she, her reactions are too forced. Um, yes, which kind of ruins a lot of my investment in the Doctor as a character because I think the the Doctor's reactions without speaking are really important to characterize the Doctor. Um, that's why I think, like, even bad episodes with uh, Capaldi and Matt, Matt Smith, that you could say a lot about their characters just from their reactions because they're really fantastic actors. So, yeah. And I don't know whether it's because the direction or Whitaker doesn't know much about, like, these monsters by the sounds of it, whereas Capaldi yep. knew, like, so much so he knew exactly how to act. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, that, that one thing. scene when they're about to leave... Like, she was, like, like I mentioned, like, very bubbly, mm-hmm. like, in how she was, like, acting, and I didn't like that at all, considering the situation with two angels in a very close space. Like, her just randomly looking away at random points, not knowing, like, you know, just cause how she kind of acted was just really, like, she shouldn't really be acting this way in this situation. Yeah, it felt way too chipper for the situation. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, is that it? Anyone else have anything to share about this episode? I'm gonna take uh, that as a no. The silence. No. <laughs> no, I'm just, yeah. I'm just like that was an episode. It had some neat stuff. It had, it had problems as well. And I'm just like, it happened, and it's easily the best episode of the season so far. The thing is, I think kind of my feelings. I think if I had one more, like, read through and improvement, I think this could easily be an eight out of ten. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. If you fix all the plot it... armor and the inconsistent speed of the angels and the dialogue, this could easily be like really good. Yeah, you just cut yeah, out the bell right. scenes and you like if this the episode dialogue. was given to like a writer in the RTD era, this could easily be like an eight. Yeah, yeah, like and it's it is quite interesting that now we have proved that Alderton and Chibnall, to be fair to him, have written a better Weeping Angel episode than Moffat has. Because they just take man hats, mm-hmm. atrocious. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, like this is better than angels take their Manhattan easily. You know, it doesn't. Ha- it doesn't fucking have a statue of Liberty Angel <laughs> that <laughs> somehow manages to get across the water and to a roof. <laughs> oh, just just talking about it, it just makes me fucking laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That episode is so weird. That happened. That happened. That episode happened. Yeah. And that was the last episode. Amy Rory. Just wow, what a fucking send off that is. Hey, the <laughs> scene where they die is great acting. Yeah. So. Imagine like that last five episodes. The only good one is a town called Mercy. I know. Has like, a really great of... scene between Amy and the Doctor. Yes. Like. You got Asylum of the Daleks, Dinosaurs on the Spaceship, Power Free, and Angels Take Manhattan. Like, ooh. And one of those is a Chibnall episode. Yeah. Mm. To be fair, the Chibnall episode. Two of them Chibnall episodes, yeah. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot. Dinosaurs on the Spaceship. Yeah, I forgot (laughs) Dinosaurs on the Spaceship uh, was uh, in that season. I despise that episode. Really I like how you forgot it, despite me literally mentioning it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's because you said two episodes, and then I remember. Oh yeah, that was Chivino. It's like, uh, you know. and it was atrocious. And the female character was written like a Moffat character, which was weird. Yeah, that that episode was really shit. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that's it for today. Um, thanks everyone for watching. Um, we are going to have what two more episodes and then we're gonna have to wait until the yep. specials which yeah did they two confirm more episodes the... of the flux did they confirm yeah, when they the can... specials are gonna come out yeah new year's spring and sometime in autumn right so it won't take long before we start before we react to the new year's one then but um well yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's about a month away yeah 
And so you, in the meantime, you're you... probably going to have the, the the flash reactions with Madvocate coming out uh, after the season yes. ends and until the New Year's Doctor Who episode, which should be fun. So, you know, because so... we love the flash. And ironically, I, I, I'm having a lot of fun uh, rewatching season three and watching season eight. So, you know. And the New Year's special has stuff to do with the TARDIS exterior breaking apart and mm. an affinity sign, so... Mm. And it's got a synops sy- synopsis out. I said synopsis. And it looks quite ordinary for one, so... Fuck knows. <laughs> right. It could be worse, it could be yeah. Revolution of the Daleks. <laughs> it, it sounds like a Revolution of Daleks synopsis, so I don't know. Mm. <laughs> oh. Thanks for making me worried for an episode, like, over a month away, Jeff. <laughs> it's it's the episode it's the first episode after the season 13 flux is trying the universe thing you're already worried yeah. I mean but it's the same kind of thing where like we were worried about um revolution of the Daleks because it's like oh it's gonna deal with the timeless children's shit and it just didn't so you know <laughs> who knows how it's gonna go um, but uh yeah that's it uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Go to Column's channel. It's in the description. Uh, goodbye. Oh, shit. Did I actually add your channel in the other videos? I might have not. You probably haven't because oh. you're cringe. Yeah, I just thought about that. <laughs> oh, anyway, if I didn't, I'm going to fix that now. So everyone who's watching this, it's already fixed. So fuck you. So, yeah, goodbye. Bye. Bye.